In this video, we're going to look at another example on how to find the equation of parabolas given any three points. When we're given any three random points on the parabola, which isn't a turning point or the x-intercepts, a good way to find the equation is using the general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. There are three steps involved. The first step, we need to form three simultaneous equations using the points that's given to us on the diagram. The second step, we then need to solve the three variable simultaneous equations. And after we solve the equation, we're going to get the values of a, b, and c, in which we can substitute into the general equation to get the equation of the parabola. Starting off with step one, we're going to utilize the general equation of the parabola, y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And we're going to first use the first point, negative 1, negative 16, to sub into this equation to form our first equation. So we're going to get minus 16 is equal to a times minus 1 squared plus b times minus 1 plus c, which is minus 16 is equal to a minus b plus c. So this is our first equation. a minus b plus c is equal to minus 16. We're then going to use the next point, 3, 0, to form another equation. So 0 is equal to a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c. So we're going to get 0 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus c. And this is going to give us our second equation. 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to 0. Using the other point, 4, negative 16, Substituting it back in, we're going to get negative 6 is equal to a times 4 squared plus b times 4 plus c. So we're going to get minus 6 is equal to 16a plus 4b plus c. And this is our third equation. 16a plus 4b plus c is equal to minus 6. Once we have the three equations, our next step is to solve it simultaneously to find the values of a, b, and c. So we're going to name these equations, equation one, two, and three, and I'm going to solve it using the elimination method. So starting off with equation two, take away equation one. On the left-hand side, we're going to get 9a plus 3b plus c minus a minus b plus c is equal to zero, take away negative 16. And simplifying this, we're going to get 9a plus 3b plus c. Remember to expand the second bracket with the negative sign. Minus a plus b minus c is equal to 16. Collecting like terms, 9a take away a, that's 8a, 3b plus b, that's plus 4b, and the plus in the minus c term cancels out, and all of this is equal to 16. We then divide all the terms by the common factor of 4, giving us a more simplified equation, 2a plus b is equal to 4. And this is going to be our equation 4, which is independent of c. And we're going to do the same thing to equation 3 and 2. So I'm going to say equation 3, take away equation 2, and this will be 16a plus 4b plus c, take away 9a plus 3b plus c is equal to minus 6 minus 0. Expanding the bracket again, we're going to get 16a plus 4b plus c. The negative sign gets applied to every term inside the second bracket. So that's minus 9a minus 3b minus c is equal to negative 6. Collecting like terms, 16a take away 9a, that's 7a. 4b take away 3b, that's plus b, and again the plus in the minus c term will cancel out, giving us this being equal to negative 6. And this is our second equation, which I'm going to call equation 5, which is also independent of the variable c. We now have two extra equations, 4 and 5, without the variable c, and we're going to continue to solve it simultaneously to find a and b. So I'm going to say equation 5 take away equation 4, which is 7a plus b minus 2a plus b is equal to minus 6 minus 4. Expanding the bracket and simplifying, we'll get 7a plus b 
minus 2a minus b is equal to negative 10. And this time the b cancels out. So 7a minus 2a is 5a is equal to negative 10. Dividing both sides by 5, we have got our first variable a is equal to minus 2. And I'm going to substitute this variable a back into equation 4. You can also sub into equation 5 as well. So if I sub this back into equation 4, I'm going to get 2 times minus 2 plus b is equal to 4. Minus 4 plus b is equal to 4. Adding 4 to both sides, we'll get our second variable b is equal to 8. So now we're going to substitute a is equal to negative 2 and b is equal to a into any of the equations 1, 2 and 3. And I'm just going to choose to sub back into 1 because it's the simplest one. And solving for c, we'll have minus 2 minus 8 plus c is equal to minus 16 minus 10 plus c is equal to minus 16. So c is equal to negative so now that we've solved for the values of a, b and c, we're going to substitute these values back into the general equation to find the equation of this parabola. So the general equation is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. We're going to replace this a with negative 2, this b with 8 and this c with negative 6. And so the equation of this parabola on the left is y is equal to minus 2x squared plus 8x minus 6. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you guys found that helpful. For more videos on this topic or any other topics, please take a look at our channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you all soon. Bye for now.